Good morning and welcome to my computer. It's half past five in the morning and I'm awake and I got a comment on one of my early videos. I'm gonna link it up above. It's the Dalek Cohedron here. I'm gonna make a new version of this. I made this using sweep and for some reason fusion it, it makes marks with you can see I can I can mark the faces here, but for some reason I can't sketch on any more faces than top face and the bottom face I cannot choose to sketch on the other face I do not know why they are flat faces and with the new version I'm doing it is the same properties it's the same size the same area and everything but anyway we need a workaround so the workaround is here this is done using lofts instead and here I can choose any face I want so let's do that I'm gonna back up we're gonna create a new design and start sketching. We're gonna stay on. Uh, um, you can choose any plane. I'm gonna start on this plane. We are starting with polygons, of course. Circumscribe, inscribe, it doesn't matter. It needs to have five sides. New. No. Five sides and remove that dimension. I'm gonna dimension, not dimension it quite yet. Uh, I'm gonna make it construction geometry. Make sure this line is horizontal. Uh, and then we're gonna do two more polygons we need two squares for working out the dimensions so let's create both of them at the same time if you can do this correct now like that we're going to make them all construction geometry and we're now going to make sure they are horizontal or vertical in some direction so we don't fly around the screen now we're going to do some coincidence we're going to start we start with a small one midpoint this line to this line Zoom into it and make a coincidence between this point and here. The other thing we're going to do, we're going to take this square here now, still coincident between this here and that point, and these two points here, like that. And now we're going to put in a dimension. Of course, you can dimension the side, or you can dimension the a diagonal of a panel or you can dimension from flat side to flat side what I mean with that is the dimension from this side here to this side here in this case 200 millimeters so we're gonna do a different dimension here we're gonna dimension we just pick the side of the big square and let's do it 156 millimeters so that's our dimension we can hide it now I don't want to see it right now now we're gonna construction helplines to firm where we are. We're gonna start from the midpoint here, a line straight out somewhere, make it coincident between this line and the corner of this square, make it horizontal to the top side of everything. These two like that. I'm gonna make a line from here across everything up to the top of a big square. Make it... No, I can't do that. I need one more line. I also need this line. I'm gonna make these two now midpoint constraints between this and this line. All this is just to help me do the next two sketches. And the last thing is one more line. This line here is gonna be parallel to the first guideline I made here. If you watch the sweep video I did, this is the guidelines. But we will not use the guidelines now. Once again, horizontal, this point, and the line or any point down here. So now we have all the help geometry we need. We're going to finish sketch, start a new sketch. Now we're going to sketch uh, the profiles we're going to laugh from. So we're going to start from the bottom, start down here, turn over a bit, use project or intersect. It's up to you. So I want to use, I want, the, of course, the midpoint. I want this point and that point we're done we're going to do create polygon now we're going to of course create some new pentagons five sides we're going to need one more here five sides make it a bit bigger like that and now we're going to constrain them midpoint constraints uh, this of course is a mirror or a rotated image of this one so that's going to be this last side to that point other one once again any side midpoint to the other point you have you have basically only three points to follow if i turn off my sketch also these three points to follow so that's what you'll use so that's done 
Now we're going to do sketches on the top here, but to do that we need a construction plane. Or I'm going to use offset plane. Start with uh, XY plane here as I start in that direction. Distance you know, to object. We're going to pick a point up here. And we're going to create a sketch on this plane now. Once again, we're going to project in the points we need. We need the center point here. We're going to need that point there. We're going to need that point. To make it easier to see, we're going to turn off the bottom sketch. So I don't see all the polygons down there. We're going to use circumscribe polygons again. Choose the midpoint. Five sides uh, somewhere like there. Repeat. We are going to do five sides again. No. Five sides. Fusion have become a bit annoying. Uh, dimension once again, remove that. If you happen to get a dimension, just delete it. Uh, midpoint constraints. This flat side here to that point. This flat side here to that point. And you're going to finish sketch and turn on all of, all of sketches. Now we have all we need. So to make it a bit easier, I'm going to turn off the first sketch I did in the, all the helplines. So now we're going to create some lofts. We're going to create a loft. Choose these two profiles. I'm holding out control to make sure I choose those two and nothing else. And then this profile up here. Okay. Now we're going to do the other one around. We're going to start the loft command. And we're going to choose all of this. And we hold down our mouse button until we can choose that profile down there. And of course, Fusion loves to cut things apart. We do not want to cut. We need to do an intersect operation. And choose OK and turn off all our sketches and by that inspect and the two flat sides uh, 150 millimeters as we want it to be we can also check that the edges have the same length so nothing has broken in this design now everything is the same length good and now by doing the last we done we can gonna turn off all my sketches again now I can sketch on I want to sketch on this face. Yes, I can do that. I can make a square. I can finish, extrude. I can take this and now cut it straight through and everything like that. So now we can sketch on all our faces. It's the same amount of steps basically and a bit of a different way to do it. I hope this is helpful for some of you and take care.